Hi guys, welcome back to The Wargamer, and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to paint the Astro Militarum Regiment, the Ventrillian Nobles, and I'll be using the Citadel range of paints to do so. Before we can begin our painting, we first of all need to prime our miniature. Now, it doesn't really matter too much what colour you prime it with, but I've gone for a grey primer as it will really help with some of the lighter colours that we'll be painting later on in the process. After priming, the first area of the miniature that I'll be painting will be the black areas. Now this includes some of the armour and also the leather areas of the miniature as well. And for this, we want to start off with a base coat of Abaddon Black. Now, as with all the base coats in this tutorial, I'll be following the same process of creating a mixture of one part paint to one part water. I'll be applying this mixture to the miniature, allowing it to dry thoroughly and then applying at least one more layer over the top. This layering technique will give us a nice strong base coat to build up from without obscuring the details by applying the paint too thickly. With the black base coat completed, we can now start working on some highlights. And for this, I'll be using Eshin Grey. Now we want to apply this highlight to all the black areas of the miniature that aren't actually the armor. We only want to actually highlight the equipment such as the backpack, the pouches, and also the boots as well. Now to highlight, simply use a thin brush with just a very small amount of paint on the tip of that brush and lightly drag it along the edges of the areas you wish to highlight. And this will result in a nice thin line, which would really help to improve and enhance the detailing in this miniature. With the first highlight completed, we can now move on to applying a second, more extreme highlight. This time I'll be focusing along the corners of the areas we painted in the previous step and using Dawnstone instead. This finer and more targeted highlight will serve to enhance the details even further. With the black areas of the miniature tackled, I'll now be painting the jacket of this Ventrillian Noble, and I'll be using a base coat of Screamer Pink for this. Once our base coat of Screamer Pink has dried, we can now apply a wash of Caraburg Crimson over the areas we painted in the previous step. This wash will flow into those recesses and really help to improve the shading, and ultimately enhance the detailing that we have on this miniature. Now applying this Caraburg Crimson straight out of the pot may be a little bit too strong, so I'd recommend watering it down slightly, roughly one part wash to one part water. If when you've applied this over the miniature you don't feel it's strong enough, you can always apply extra steps later on. After allowing the wash of Caraburg Crimson to fully dry, we can now start highlighting the edges of the jacket, and for this I'll be using Emperor's Children. Using this paint with just a small amount of water mixed in and a very fine brush, I'll be picking out some of the raised sections of cloth along the jacket. The final step in painting the jacket is to apply an extreme highlight of Decola Lilac to the more prominent folds in the cloth. And I'll be doing this in a similar way to how I applied the Dawnstone in the black areas of the miniature. When painting these extreme highlights, it helps to imagine a light source coming from above the miniature. The areas where this light would hit and be more prominent are the areas that you should apply these extreme highlights to. The next area of our Ventrillian Noble that I'll be tackling will be the white areas. This includes the trousers, the gloves, and also the plume on the helmet as well. We want to base coat all these areas using Celestra Grey. With our base coat of Celestra Grey completed, we now want to apply a wash of non-oil to the areas we painted in the previous step. Now applying non-oil straight out of the pot will be far too strong and darken down these areas far too much. So I would recommend mixing in roughly three parts water to one part non-oil and then applying this mixture over the white areas. This should result in a subtle shading without darkening down the color too much. The final step in painting the white areas is to apply a highlight using white scar. And again, you want to pick out the more prominent areas of the cloth using this paint. After completing the white areas, we'll now be base coating the wooden weapon butt of the last gun using dryad bark. With the base coat dry, you can now apply a wash of Agraxa shade over the dryad bark to enhance the shading. And finally, to finish off, apply a fine highlight of Baneblade Brown. The next area of our Ventrillion Noble that I'll be tackling will be the skin, and we'll to start off here with a base coat of Bugman's Glow. With the base coat completed, I'll now be applying a highlight of Cadian Flesh Tone to the raised features of the face. This includes the cheekbones and the nose, the lips, and also the chin. The final step in painting the skin is to apply a watered-down wash of Reichland Flesh Shade, roughly one part wash to one part water. This wash will not only serve to improve the shading, but also help to blend in the base coat to the highlight. With the matte areas of the miniature completed, we can now start painting the metallic areas. I'm going to be starting off by painting the gold areas on this miniature, and for this, I'll be using Retributor Armor. Now, the areas of the miniature that we want to base coat with gold include the last gun, the hilt of the sword, and also the trim of the helmet as well. In addition to base coating with the Retributor Armor, I'll also be using it as a highlight on the black armor. This will create the effect of a gold trim, so simply follow the same steps as before for highlighting these edges. 
With the base coat of gold completed, we can now start washing over these areas using Ryklin Flesh Shade. Now this wash will give the gold areas a slightly reddish tinge as well as flowing into those recesses and bringing out the details. The final step in painting the gold areas is to do an edge highlight using Stormhost Silver. This will give the effect that this gold is extremely shiny and very polished. In addition to using Stormhost Silver as a highlight, I'll also be using it to base coat some of the remaining metal areas on the miniature. With the Stormhost Silver base coat completed, we now want to darken down the color slightly and also enhance some of the shading. For this, we'll be applying a wash of Norn Oil. With the wash of Norn Oil completed, the final step in painting the silver metallic areas is to apply a highlight of Stormhost Silver once again. Simply follow the same steps as you did before when highlighting the gold areas. And here we have the completed Ventrillion Noble. Now you may have noticed I've added in a couple of optional details, which are the trims on the jacket and also around the pockets. For the trim of the jacket, simply follow the same steps as I used for painting the white areas of the miniature, and for the trim around the pockets, simply follow the same steps as I did for painting the jacket. In the description below, you can find a full list of the paints used in this tutorial, along with links to both my Facebook and Instagram pages. From there, you can find out what projects I'm currently working on, and also ask me any questions that you may have. If you enjoyed this tutorial or have suggestions for other Astra Militarum regiments that I can tackle, please do let me know in the comments below as well. And finally, I just want to say a huge thank you to my Patreon supporters, because it's you guys who make these videos possible. Your donations each month really help me in producing these videos by allowing me to buy paints, miniatures, basically everything you see used in this video is funded by you guys, so big thank you for that. And if you are interested in supporting me as well, I'll include a link in the description below, which will take you directly to my Patreon page. So all that's left to say is thanks for watching, and goodbye.